There are circumstances when a CFE professional who is providing financial advice is required to provide financial planning. There are five factors that CFE board will weigh in making that determination. We call these the integration factors. The first factor is the number of relevant elements of the client's personal and financial circumstances that the financial advice may affect. CFP Board's Code and Standards provides many examples of those relevant elements. Each example focuses on what the client needs or wants. The second factor is the portion and amount of the client's financial assets that the financial advice may affect. The greater the portion and amount, the more likely financial planning is required. Third is the length of time the client's personal and financial circumstances may be affected by the financial advice. The fourth factor is the effect on the client's overall exposure to risk if the client implements the financial advice. The greater the risk, the more likely financial planning is required. The fifth and final factor is the barriers to modifying the actions taken to implement the financial advice. In another video, we'll discuss the options that are available when a CFP professional is required to provide financial planning, but the client does not agree to engage the CFP professional for financial planning. To learn more about the new Code of Ethics and Standards of Conduct, visit cfp.net slash code.